Okay, so welcome back to my channel. In this video, we'll try to evaluate the integral of um, logarithmic function using the power formula. So I just put here the, the formula for the differential of the logarithmic function for our reference later. So let's have example number one. So we have the integrals of 3 ln 1 fourth 1 minus x all over 1 minus x dx. Okay, so we have here our example number one. We have here the integrals of 3 ln raised to 1 fourth 1 minus x all over 1 minus x dx. Okay, so take note that this 1 fourth here is the exponent of the whole logarithmic function. So we will apply the power formula here, but I just put here the differential of the logarithmic function for our reference. Okay, so uh, looking at this figure, um, okay, so since yung logarithmic function natin yung my exponent, so we'll use the logarithmic function as our u. We can write this first for you to be able to see kung ano yung gagawin natin. Okay, so this will be um, the integral of, um, this is ln, yung argument niya is 1 minus x. And of course, this is raised to the power of 1 fourth. Ganyan. And the, remaining, and the remaining factors are, we have here the 3 over 1 minus x dx. So, ano ko lang, nire-write ko lang para in-isolate ko yung logarithmic function to see that the, the exponent of the logarithmic function is 1 fourth. Okay, so yung n natin dito is 1 fourth and your u is, um, of course, the logarithmic function, the natural logarithm of 1 minus x. Yan. So you can solve for the du of this function, ln quantity 1 minus x. This is equal to derivative of u, which is 1 minus x. So that would be negative dx all over u, which is 1 minus x. This is 1 minus x. Yeah, so this is our value for du. Now we will apply the left side of the power formula for integration. And that is the integral of u raised to n du. We will have the integral of your u is ln 1 minus x raised to n dou, and your n is 1 fourth, and your du is this one. So this can be written as negative 1 over 1 minus x dx. So this is negative 1 over 1 minus x dx. Yan. Okay, now notice that this is not exactly the same with the original function. Because um, in the original function, meron siyang 3, at saka dito naman is negative 1. So you have to manipulate your, ano, this one, so that it will be equal to the previous, ano, the previous function, or the, the original function. So to do that, um, para maging 3, you will multiply this by, of course, you will multiply this by negative 3. Because when you multiply negative 3 by negative 1, the result is positive 3. Now, yung function na to is now equal, exactly equal to this function right here. So you can proceed na in applying the right side of the power formula for integration. And that is u raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1 plus c. Okay, of course you have to copy yung 3 because it's already outside of the integrals. Then you have here, your u is ln... 1 minus x raised to 1 fourth plus 1. 1 fourth plus 1, that is 5 over 4. This is 5 over 4. Yung 5 over 4, 1 fourth, because your n is 1 fourth plus 1, that is 5 over 4. All over 5 over 4. Of course, don't forget yung c. Take note ha, pag walang c, wrong yung answer. Then simplifying this one, this will be um, you will have negative 3 multiplied by this quantity. So, yung 4, you multiply it by negative 3. This will be negative 12 over 5 multiplied by the ln of 1 minus x. And the whole logarithmic function is raised to the power of 5 over 4. Of course, plus c. Or um, you can write the 5 over 4 
here. So this will be negative 12 over 5. The logarithmic logarithm of the natural logarithm of 1 over x raised to 5 over 4. This is 5 over 4, 1 minus x plus c. So take note ha, yung 1 minus x, yun yung argument ng logarithmic function. So this is our final answer. Yeah, and so this is our final answer. Okay, let's have another example. Let me just erase this one first. Suppose we have the integral of, um, say, the tangent of alpha multiplied by the natural logarithm of second alpha. Yeah, and alpha. Yeah, and suppose we have this example. If you want to apply the power formula, now, we, because there are two factors kasi, diba? So, we have here the tangent of alpha and the natural logarithm of second alpha. So, dalawa yung factors mo. So, you, you have to choose between the two kung alin yung gagamitin mong u. Okay, so for sure, hindi natin pwedeng gamitin u yung tangent alpha because if you get the derivative of tangent alpha, it does not involve logarithmic function, di ba? So for sure, we cannot use yung tangent alpha as our u. So what we'll do is yung logarithm, yung logarithmic function yung gagawin nating value ng u. Okay, so this is our u. So your n is equal to yung, yung logarithmic function is raised to the power of 1 man. So this is 1. And your u naman is, of course, yun na nga yung logarithmic function the natural logarithm of second alpha. If you solve the derivative of u, this will be um, the derivative of ln second alpha. So evaluating this one, this will be the derivative of the argument of the logarithmic function, which is second alpha all over u, which is second alpha. Okay, simplifying this further, will get um, the derivative of second alpha that is um, second alpha tangent alpha. Diba? D alpha. All over, of course, the denominator which is the second alpha. So this will cancel out. So matitira na lang dyan is the tangent alpha D alpha. So this is equal to tangent alpha D alpha. Yeah, so this is our value for du. So now we can now um, apply the left side of the power formula for integration. So we'll now have um, the integral of u, which is ln second alpha. Of course, this is raised to n, which is 1. I'll just put it here for our for the sake of our solution. I lalagay ko lang yung 1 times du. Yung du natin is tangent alpha d alpha. Yan. So as you can see, um, this function right here, this integral function right here is exactly equal to the original function given. Okay, so you can immediately proceed in applying the right side of the power formula for integration. And that is u raised to n plus 1 over n plus 1. So this will be um, your u is, take note your u is ln second alpha um, raised to n plus 1. Your n is 1 plus 1, that is 2, all over 2. Of course, don't forget your c, plus c. So, um, simplifying this, this will be, um, I'll put 1 half here. This is 1 half ln raised to 2 second alpha yan plus c so this is our final answer for the integral of tangent alpha ln second alpha d alpha okay